Okay, here we are, Monday the 20th. All these chocolates have been eaten, all of your treats, you're opening up your daily advent calendar and all that work you've been doing. Cruising, I like it. Uh, we got 20, Monday the 20th. 20th day of December. Yowzers. Uh, currently it's not there yet, but we're getting there. We're going to talk about isoquads. Iso is referring to an isometric core position, abs core, with a quad extension exercise. Now we do have a quad extension machine here at the gym, but since we use the machine more, I'm going to make sure people have their iso quads happening here. You got your calf raises, elevated or not. Again, we're talking about calves. And we got mobility, and oh boy, you can even pause this video and go Google mobility exercises, and it's a very long list. So I'll review mobility and we get there, but it's gonna sound like this week, or the last five days, you're gonna have five rounds of work. I'm gonna review the ISO quads again, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, calf raises, 10, 20, 30, 20, 10, and mobility is always 20, you got five rounds of work. All right, the ISO quads. You can sit on something like a bench or a chair. You can put ankle weights on your ankles or over your feet if you want to. And these dumbbells are too heavy. You can hold a dumbbell between your feet. And then now there's a bunch of contraptions you can buy online, but I'm not here to make you buy things you don't need to buy. ISO quads, position and muscle exercise focus. Here's my isometric position. You can either not hold anything and you can bend and straighten your legs. You can hold your legs up and bend and straighten your legs. Or you can hold what you're sitting on and bend and straighten your legs. And again, if you're hold, sitting on a bench, you can again hold that bench. But iso, isometric core, second greatest force you put on a muscle, quad extension exercise. Again, weighted or not with ankle weights on your feet, on top of your feet. You can hold a dumbbell, this may or may not work. You can hold a dumbbell or a medicine ball between your feet. Iso quads, quad extension exercise. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 which is unfair, kind of like the 16th, but the motion is smaller. It's gonna burn, but it's not like doing 50 lunges. Iso quads, change your position, adjust your weight. Calves, you could do them seated. We have a seated calf machine, and there's your calf raise exercise. You could do them standing, whether you're loaded, right? Whether you stand on the edge of something, this is probably the smallest thing you'd want to stand on, but you can stand on anything as you do your calves. And yeah, I know they're little, but for those of you who know me, they're fast, right? Calves are the look pretty muscle. They really don't help out a whole bunch, except for looking pretty. Seated calves or knees bent calves, your soleus, that muscle supports the load and impact if you're gonna run and jump. So your gas trucks, they look pretty. They kind of help you run faster, jump higher. Your soleus underneath calf muscle is what supports the load and impact from doing activities. So mix them up as you can. Calves, loaded or elevated, adjusted as you need to. 10, 20, 30, 20, 10, pyramid like we did the other day, mobility. There's a lot of things you can do for mobility. Well, a couple simple ones, standing scissors is a common mobility exercise. You could even say Russian walks, right? You can walk if you want to, but slow it down. Standing runners is a common mobility exercise for us. Jack LaLanne's been very popular since March 29th of 2020. You also have other just hip focus things. Leg up, focus, out, down, up, in, down. So there's mobility focused on your hips, mobility focused on your shoulders, and both of those joints 
have a lot of muscles around them and they require a lot of focus and attention and when they stop moving, bad things happen. You also have other things for your spine. Do any lunge and rotate. That's a mobility exercise. And again, you can do any lunge. Mobility. All of these things have movement of joints. Heck, you can even just do some ankle rolls. I know it's corny, but if you weren't doing it before and you just had a reminder, we both win, right? Mobility refers to joints moving. And when those joints move slowly and effectively, those little muscles supporting them work and support. And then you can do all the other big movements you like to do. Quads, 10, sorry, quads, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Calves, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 20, 10 pyramid. And then you have your mobility is always 20. It's a sneaky big one. It's probably 20 to 25 minutes. We've been kind of progressing, kind of not. It's getting more involved. Happy Monday the 20th. We're going to have a real good week ahead of us. Have a good day.